Hi educators and welcome to Storytime with Kate. I wanted to share a little trick with you that I use during my storytelling sessions with children. It's called light the candle and blow the candle. Children love rituals and this ritual is from Maria Montessori approach. So Montessori was using a lot of wonderful rituals such as silence ritual, walking with a chair, walking with a bell to ensure that children are mindful and switched on. So this is another ritual. It might actually help children to focus on what you are doing. So before every storytelling session, I would light the candle. It might be a small candle like this, a tea candle, and put it safely somewhere children cannot reach. So children will be looking at the candle and we will invite the story. Or you can use a candle that is like this and light it up as well and the light and you know the smell of burning candle will be perfect for this start you also can start with this song that invites the candle for example candle candle burning bright lighting up the darkest night and then you start telling the story whether it's goldilocks and three bears or gruffalo or whatever story you are telling once the story is over, what I used to do, I would ask each child to have a turn at blowing the candle. This, uh, of course, requires a little bit of safety precautions. I never had any accidents and I do it with older children, obviously, over three years of age. But if you are careful and you role model how to do it, they would enjoy it and do it um, with pleasure. Some considerations now might include COVID, of course. So you need to make sure that it's done safely. So um, this way we are not eating the cake. So blowing candle may be away from other children so they don't spread the germs. But very good ritual, especially if you're a family daycare educator and don't have a lot of children in your group. So it's not super contagious. So let's finish our story with blow out the candle. Off you go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.